Howdy folks, what I've got here today is from a company called Viber, but it's the best priced uh, starter kit, you know, beginner's kit for a CNC machine and or you can also add a laser head to this little guy. But it's a good starter kit that has started a lot of the big time YouTubers that have CNC shows. This is the first machine they had. Now granted this is an upgrade model that's a little bit newer than some of the ones that they had because this is the S3018 uh, Pro from Vivor, but it's still the same idea. It's very inexpensive and it's compact, but it'll give you all the features of a CNC and sort of like get you going kind of thing. So today we're going to check this one out. Hi. Okay, so, uh, one of the things I want to do is I'm going to give you a link below to uh, a fella. I think he calls himself James Dean or something. And I think this he said this was the machine he started with before he really got hard and heavy on CNC machines. But this was his starter. This is what like introduced him to the world of CNC. So that's a cool thing. Also, there's the optional laser. I'm not sure how that works with Vivor because they, it, does, it is shown in their catalogs and stuff. I'm just not sure whether you order it separately or you have to order it with the machine. Uh, maybe we'll find out later on. But right now, uh, the S3018 Pro is here in the box. And what I'm going to do is I'll just sort of yeah, show you the box a little bit here. And then I'm going to lay it all out on the table. We'll take a quick look. And then I'm going to throw it together and we're going to run it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we got that whole box unloaded. And look at all the goodies. Uh, this, Prices on these at Vivor starts around $150, so that should kind of excite you. But the other thing you got to think about in terms of if you're just starting out with your first CNC, this is probably an excellent kit to get you going because you're going to have to assemble it, of course, but you're going to learn a lot about CNCs and maybe someday you want to step up to the big boys or whatever. But in the meantime, this is a great starter kit. And uh, there's some other uh, names out there I was going to mention that also... This was like their first kit they got for like from their wife for Christmas or something. And this is what got them going on, you know, wood carving and using a CNC machine. The parts are laid out. There's thing, this thing features a uh, screw drive, for example, which I thought that was kind of surprising for the price. I thought, well, that's, you know, wow. Also has a really good strong uh, spindle on this one. And it's also rated at 10,000 RPMs. So it's, you know, it's, it's right in the, you know, where you want to be. And of course you get a nice set of, uh, they call them drill bits. I, these are like end mill type bits, but uh, uh, technology and uh, yeah, what somebody calls something and somebody else calls something else, I don't know. It also has a nice little uh, override uh, piece here where you can manually run the machine a little bit before you really get too far into it. And also the board. Now the board is a motherboard right here, a little adrenal board. It's kind of basic, but it still, it does everything it has to do. Plus, there's an input here apparently for running a laser on this thing if you want to throw an optional laser at it. You got your little stepper motors. Uh, there should be, I think, I think there should be three. Oh, okay, one's already mounted with the uh, spindle. So you only need the other two for the, the trans table and for the uh, gantry. So we're, we're good to go. I'm going to start assembling, and when we come back, I'll have this baby together so we can actually look at the machine. <laughs> okay, boom, we're done. Uh, I've got G-Code Center, Universal G-Code Center set up over here. I finished assembly. I want to talk a little bit about assembly. It's kind of, uh, it's in here in the book from Vivor. You'll get this. And it goes sort of a step-by-step -step, uh, pictures with the screws. It's a little bit of a thinking man's problem because they don't take you step-by-step -step with one assembly or something. They give you quite a large number of assemblies on each page. And so when you get all done through, through these steps, you'll end up with what looks like that, except of course they're not showing all the wires. The wiring back here is a little bit of a mess, but again, uh, you're buying a very inexpensive machine. So, you know, you, you get what you pay for. And I think they start around 150. So this is, you know, expect a very basic machine. Now there's a, uh, as far as the assembly goes, uh, you're gonna have to do things like count the number of uh, screws to a size so you can figure out, oh, this is an M5 or this is an M6 screw that they're talking about in the assembly. It was a little bit of a, like I say, a little bit of a thinking man's problem. It took me hours to put this together, but I assembled it carefully. And even then I had a couple of mistakes where I had to take everything apart and turn something around because I had it on backwards or something. But the uh, overall build is, is really, it was kind of fun. You know, you're putting a machine together. So it was kind of neat. 
it's a it's a very bare bones machine and the first thing I've got to tell you guys about it with G-Code Sender and a machine that's this bare bones and it depends on the software if you have a PC laptop and you use their software with candle and all that you're probably going to be okay but I was using G-Code Sender this morning and just doing some jogging and stuff around and the first thing I uh, found out about was uh, do not hit the home button ever yeah there's no hard limits on this this is uh, there's no hard limits it's only what you set as a I set this up right now as a point of origin and I just ran some experimental you know I'm pretending I'm cutting wood sort of thing with it and if you hit the home button it'll look for limits there are none so you'll you know you could trash your machine really quickly so you have to sort of like pull the power off and pull your USB uh, cable off immediately because otherwise this guy is going to try to go to a home button thing or a home location that has no hard limits so it won't stop. It'll just keep driving those engines or the stepper motors until, yeah, you'll, you'll basically trash up the machine pretty quick. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I was just watching uh, a fairly big time YouTuber this morning and he was telling, you know, people, oh, why don't you get hooked up? Oh, hit the home button. No, don't do that. No, do not. Not with this machine. She's pretty bare bones. Now, she does have, I'll have to plug this in uh, back here, but we do have a, uh, a manual control thing here, which is really cool, and I'll just plug that in, and I guess I'll have to come around to the front with you. Yeah, so at the front here, it also includes this small <laughs> ribbon cabled control package, which, oh, it's on right now, so we can go ahead and uh, start the spindle up on here manually. See if I can do that. Yep, there we go. Nope. Oh, there it goes. And shut it off. We can also uh, home in on Z axis, or uh, we can change the amount of movement we get per time we, you know, when we hit the button. Right now it's at 0.1 of a millimeter or something. But um, and then there's escape program, which is again there's Z up, Z down. Yeah, yeah a little bit of yep. Uh, there's no USB or anything like that on this part. Why they give you this, I don't really know, because when you plug your computer in, you're going to be running this machine, and you can jog and do all this from the computer. So this, to me, is kind of something they, they actually to sort of leave out, but uh, I guess don't tell them I said that, right? Yeah. Anyway, it has uh, four mounting holes on it, so I guess you could take some screws and mount it to your bench if you were like installing this somewhere on a desktop where you want to, you're going to be keeping it stationary. You could nail this down, and that way you'd have your uh, controls uh, that way. So again, the only thing I'm seeing is is this kind of cable mess right now. But this is just it just comes with the machine. Okay, kind of basic but very safe. What I'm doing right now is actually theoretically cutting a job. The spindle's not on right now, but the wood is theoretically here, and we're doing a little pattern cut. I just want to check the machine, you know, so we don't run into anything. This is a mistake, but this is what, you know, when you get into CNC, it's one of the first things you're going to have to learn is how to set the tooling up correctly. Obviously, that's not really too bad. It's a little hard to read, but I used to, I put the wrong size of the bit in to the uh, fonting here. So when I entered the fonting, it was obviously way too wide, way too big. And of course, it's not going to do a very nice job for me, which you live and you learn with uh, CNC. This is why you buy a machine like this, so you learn how to do this stuff right. You know? And when you get a big machine, you can do some beautiful work because you'll, you'll know what you're doing. <laughs> so here's the situation. I'm going to make some recommendations or whatever, but uh, I use a laptop, an Apple in this case, but you could also use a PC. I had an HP out here early this morning because uh, one of the things that's included in the machine is this little USB. Uh, I don't even know what size it was, but on it was the uh, the Gerbil, as they call it, programming for running the laser on this thing, and also a uh, candle, which uh, helps you to get a PC to, say, talk to a, a CNC machine. So it's not a bad thing if you have a PC. Like I said, I use Apple, but even with the PC, you could use the same programming that I'm using, which is uh, Universal G-Code Sender. I'll give you a link in the description below where you can uh, download that for free. It's a free piece of software. It's a little glitchy, but once you learn it, it's, you know, 
it's not bad, you know, it's pretty good. It'll, it can do some very basic things with a, with any uh, CNC machine, which is like, cool, you know, it gets you started kind of thing. Uh, this is supposed to be going on sale, so I'm not even sure when I get you the link, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a code or a sale price in there. I think there is, but there'll be a really good deal. I've seen them listed for as low as $150. I also saw one for $180, so I was kind of like, eh, I'm not sure what the differences are between those two. I took a look. I could, you know, I could not quite decipher what was going on there. But it's a very bare bones, basic machine. But it'll teach you everything about running a CNC machine without the huge cost of buying, you know, one of those, you know, couple thousand dollars worth of equipment, a bunch of software, and then you find out, you know, you've got problems with it, whatever. This one here. Uh, it's going to show you some really, you know, you're going to learn the hard way. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. But uh, you'll find out how to run the basic CNC machine without the limits where you just use like what I call point of origin or a reference point. It's, it's actually a zero uh, spot right here. So when I set it to zero, it goes back to here. It, it's in the, in the software. It's in the memory. And just say this is where zero is for this machine before we starting, uh, you know, doing a cut like this. Uh, the other thing was, uh, big warning here, Whew, you know, I did it right in front of you. <laughs> I still had the laptop plugged in on the USB and I plugged this in. Don't do that. You either plug this in or you have the laptop top plugged in, but don't have them both at the same time. Uh, what I had to do was I had to go into the uh, Adreno board and do a full factory like reset kind of thing. You can't do it mechanically or anything. You actually have to send a code, command line, Using G -co, uh, universal G code sender on the command line, I sent a reset into this so the machine was back up and running. Uh, the other problem I had with the G code sender, universal G code sender, was for some reason uh, my software it kept telling the spindle to go back to zero and not run for the time. See, I set it for zero because I wanted to do just a, a dry run, I guess we'll call it, you know, just to check. And after that, for some reason, when I went back to try to run this job, the spindle wouldn't work and I had to go back into my settings and find where I, in the uh, settings, there was a, where it had showed the spindle was now shut off and was like, okay, turn the spindle back on for the job, you know, duh. But uh, that's any CNC machine. That has nothing to do with Vivor or this, you know, this is a brilliant, actually this is a really sweet little machine because it has all the basics of running a CNC machine and it won't cost you that much. And like say you run a PC laptop or an Apple laptop. There's also a code here uh, in the book where you can tie it in with uh, like an iP iPhone and something to do with running it from an iPhone. I am not doing that, but yeah, you can, you know, you can run, do something from a phone. That's kind of cool. I hate these clamps, but everybody in the industry, you know, I don't care what price you pay, they're going to send you these crazy clamps. I really like something low profile to hold the lumber and you can use double uh, two pieces of tape and some glue, some spray on glue and stuff to hold your lumber down while you do your job. But I sort of prefer the clamps away from that. I don't like to get it all messed up. And this one does not have a spoil board. You could make yourself a spoil board. There's enough height in the Z here that you could add a small piece of board here for a spoil board and put the whole thing together a little differently. Uh, the way it is right now, it's I think it's just fine because it it just it's all the training of, of learning, you know, the precision and how to deal with the, a CNC with the software and the cutters. You also have two different cutters in here. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's a mill and there's also the uh, the sharp pointy, you know, flute type end on these. So I've got like a like an end mill and a, a flute type uh, bit in there or drill bit. I think they called it drill bit. Technology and terminology, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's great. You know, it's, I'll give you a link for that, uh, the software, and I uh, gave you the safety recommendations. So I think we're done here. So, hey, we're going to call this one uh, done for now. <laughs> yeah, and man, I'm out of here. <laughs> that was a lot of, that was a lot of fun though. Over and out. <laughs>